I mean, this month is gonna be full of cookies and treats and sweets, but this is the official cookie of the month. And this is such a delicious one, and it really is a family favorite. This is a chocolate cookie with a thin mint in the middle, kind of swirled around as a delicious center. And really, I think once you have this, you're gonna see why this is one of my favorite Christmas cookies. Growing up, we couldn't wait to go to grandma's house to have one of these, and she still makes them every year because they are a family favorite. To start, you just wanna put some butter, some brown sugar, and some semi-sweet chocolate right into a microwave-safe bowl. Just chunk up the chocolate, there's not really an important process here, and just put it right into the bowl with the brown sugar and butter, and then place it into your microwave at about half power, and microwave it for about 30 second increments, stirring it every time. You just wanna make sure to evenly melt it and not cook one little bit more than the other, so make sure to keep stirring it and then put it back in the microwave. Once it's all completely melted and put together, you can just put it right into the bowl of your stand mixer. Now, if it is extremely hot to the touch, you might wanna let it cool off just a little bit. But usually, if you let it just melt, it isn't too hot to proceed with the recipe. Once you have it in the bowl, you can just add a little bit of espresso powder. And I know, don't worry, that some of you will say, I hate coffee and I hate the flavor. You can leave it out, but as I always say, and I promise you, you will not taste coffee if you use this. It really just heightens, deepens, and just really accentuates that amazing chocolate flavor. Once that's in there, you can be mixing it and then you wanna add your eggs. I like to crack them into a small bowl just to make sure I don't get any shells in it because every time I don't, I seem to always get shells that I have to fish out. So crack them into a bowl and then put them in one at a time and let them mix before you put in the next one. Next, you wanna add some vanilla because vanilla and chocolate just go hand in hand and they really are delicious together. Once those are in there, you can just put in your dry ingredients. Some salt, some baking soda, and of course, some flour. Mix that together, starting on low because when the dry ingredients are in there, if you just turn it on, there is gonna be a cloud all over and really that is a mess to clean up, I know from experience. Once that is completely mixed, it's gonna be kind of a wet dough and you're gonna think it kind of feels different, but don't worry, it is exactly how it should be. Take it off the mixer, clean off that beater, and then you can just start making your balls. I love to use a cookie scoop for this. It really just makes quick and easy work. Take a small scoop, put it in your hand, roll it together, and then roll it in sugar and put it right onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Once your sheet is full, just place it into that preheated oven and let it bake. You do not want to overbake these, and really you don't want to overbake anything that has chocolate in it because that chocolate flavor is just leaving the cookie and going into the air. While the cookies are in the oven baking, you can just prepare your thin mints. Just cut them in half. They're just an odd size and a little bit too big to keep whole, so just cut them in half and set them aside. When your cookies come out of the oven, you can just take one of those halves and press it slightly down into the cookie. You don't need to press too hard, just slightly. And once you're done with the whole pan, you'll notice they're starting to melt. You can kind of just check them by touching them, and once the top is melted, just take the back of a spoon, swirl it around, and you will have an amazing center of a melted Andes mint. Let them cool completely on a rack, and then that center is gonna re-harden, and you are just gonna have this delicious chocolatey mint cookie that really is just amazing. I don't know why, but something about mint and chocolate, Christmas, the holidays, it just seems perfect, doesn't it? I think once you have these, you and if you have kids, they are gonna agree that these are one of your favorite holiday cookies. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to click like below and click subscribe to become part of the Gray Boxwood family and be up to date on all of our videos. I love sharing the Christmas season with you, some of my favorite recipes, and love to hear about yours. Merry Christmas.